sine curve like last time. And then at zero, we'll make it, we'll make it zero. And on the right-hand side, this is, um, if you like, f of x is zero if x is less than or equal zero. And let's make it sine of one over x if x is uh, bigger than zero. So in this case, at zero, there's a discontinuity of the second kind. And um, which limit does not exist? The one coming from the right. Thank you, Maya. OK, good. So um, let's come back to these uh, examples here. Um, in the, for the Dirichlet function, what kind of discontinuities do we have in this picture? Discontinuities of the second kind. You guys are giving me the peace symbol. Peace. Peace. <laughs> OK, good. So in the original Dirichlet function, uh, all discontinuities are of the second kind. OK, good. What about here? What kind of discontinuities do we have here? It's continuous at all irrationals and discontinuous at all rationals, and they're dis there's discontinuities of the. OK, how many people say that the discontinuity at 1 is of the second kind? How many people say it's of the first kind? How would we show that? Show that the limit exists coming from the right. Now, don't you agree there's lots of rationals and irrationals here as I move in? But, yeah, well, notice that you, if you give me one of these little epsilon balls, I can find a little delta ball around here that it's within that epsilon, right, uh, uh, of, of, of zero, which is, uh, would show that on the right-hand side, this thing has a limit of zero. Right? And on the left. So in fact, in the second example, the second Dirichlet function, the 1 over Q Dirichlet function, uh, all um, discontinuities are simple. They're of the first kind. We actually we say simple is another way to um, the term that we use here. OK, so um, we've changed the nature here of of the uh, discontinuities. Let's do another example. How about the following? Um, what would you say uh, is true about um, hmm. we can have some fun here. How about um, zero? Uh, if uh, x is irrational, and x squared if x is rational. What kind of function is this? So a lot of irrationals, it's 0. And if it's rational, then its value is um, x squared, so what does that look like? OK, what kind of, um, what kind of, uh, what kind of um, discontinuities do we have? First of all, where are the discontinuities? Every point except possibly. Zero, that's where you might be worried. Is it continuous or discontinuous at zero? Let's see. Um, to show that it's continuous at zero, let's show that, in fact, around uh, zero in its image, which is zero, for every epsilon ball, there's a delta. There's an epsilon ball. 
There's a delta around which if you're within this delta, you're within the epsilon. True? Yes. OK, good. I uh, won't make you write it down, but it's certainly true. So this thing is continuous at 0. Very good. And what, what are the nature of the other discontin of the discontinuities? <coughs> are they all the second kind? Yeah, let's see. Um, how would I verify that? Well, if I were near uh, some point here that is uh, irrational, does there a limit exist on one side or the other? Well, no, because I always have rationals within any, any ball. Um, if the, what's the proposed limit? Well, yeah, I, I could be outside of that ball if I, here, let's do an example. Take this point, whose um, value is here. This is some rational R in Q. OK, so um, I want to know, does it have a limit coming from the left or the right? Well, the only possibility uh, is, is that the limit coming from the right is 0, right? I mean, it could be. You could test all the other ones, but it's pretty clear it's not going to be anything else. It's only. Um, I guess maybe you want to test this point and this point. But in either case, there is no delta ball that will leave you within epsilon of this proposed limit. Or what about this one? Not, not this one either, right? So these are discontinuous at zero and, uh, second, and discontinuities of second kind at all other points elsewhere. OK, good. So we have some uh, idea of what uh, simple discontinuities are and what crazy discontinuities are. OK. Well, um, there are some cases in which we can say um, we can restrict the kinds of discontinuities that can occur. And so this leads us to the topic of monotonic functions. So a uh, monotonic function is basically means either monotonically increasing or decreasing. So we'll say it's monotonically increasing uh, if any time x is to the left of y, this implies what about f of x and f of y? Is less than or equal to? Yes, uh, this is all functions from uh, a, an interval into r. So we can talk about. You're basically going from real numbers to real numbers. We're going to say f is monotonically decreasing if um, x less than or equal to y means um, what? f of x is bigger than or equal to f of y. Right? OK, good. So. Um, Let's see. What can we say about monotonic functions? Well, here's an example. Suppose I have, um, let's, let's give an example of monotonic function. Here's one. Certainly that's monotonic, yes? OK. Um, OK. Uh, are you prepared to make a, any kind of conjecture about the kinds of discontinuities a monotonic function could have? Only simple? Only simple? Is there any way a monotonic function could have a non-simple discontinuity? Some people say yes. People 